represent some of the most memorable and meaningful 18 years of my career. Um, you know, during that time, 1989 to about 2016, I had the privilege of working with some outstanding RPAP staff, rural physicians and community leaders, members of the RPAP board, and faculty from U of A and U of C. And that, that's been truly an, uh, an honor um, for, to, to work with all those individuals and learn from them. And I also traveled extensively during those 18, 19 years throughout rural Alberta. I don't think there's been a rural community that I probably haven't visited at least once in that time. And, and again, another opportunity to meet some incredible rural physicians and other healthcare workers, members of the community. Um, and, and just ordinary caring Albertans. And the second, I guess, memory of RPAP, uh, what it means to me is that we were able to, um, we were able to be true to the original designers. Uh, the uh, External Advisory Committee on Physician Manpower back in 1989, 1990, who developed the Rural Physician Action Plan. They set out some evidence-informed initiatives that would make a difference to grow, distribute, and stabilize the rural workforce. And so I'm proud that we, we, we were able to stay true to that work plan and put in place uh, an evidence basis to help us both grow those initial initiatives, but also add new, new, new uh, tools to our toolbox to help rural Alberta. RPAT was built around three key streams, supports for rural medical education, both at an undergraduate and at a residency level, supporting practicing rural physicians to help them with the tools they need to continue to do their work, and support for rural communities. And so the programs that RPAP put in place were able to meet the needs of each of those three key streams. And we also put in place a really deep um, toolkit of surveys, of evaluations, of research, so we could demonstrate whether the, any of those initiatives were working, how to fine tune them, and also where there were ongoing gaps as rural healthcare needs evolved, what new programming could we put in place. So our path, by virtue of having those initiatives that were evidence informed, and then actually monitoring whether they're doing their job and listening to rural Albertans and rural physicians, we're able to add new tools and demonstrate with cold, cold hard evidence the value that our PAP brought to Albertans. It grew the workforce, helped distribute it, and the retention statistics show that rural doctors were, were staying longer year over year uh, to a large extent because of the RPAP initiatives. Mm -hmm.